In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NFL games happening on October 6, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NFL games after fully watching this video. Or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Indianapolis Colts vs. Jacksonville Jaguars The Indianapolis Colts will hit the road to face the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday, October 6th. Currently, the Jaguars stand as the only winless team in the NFL, with a disappointing 0-4 start to the season. What's notable is that three of their four losses have been decided by just one possession, indicating how close they've been to turning things around. Quarterback Trevor Lawrence has struggled to find a consistent rhythm, and his offensive line hasn't been able to protect him effectively throughout the season's first month. On the other side, the Colts enter this matchup with a 2-2 record, but they have significant concerns at the quarterback position after starter Anthony Richardson sustained an injury during last week's game. If Richardson manages to recover in time, he could start, but if not, the Colts may look to veteran Joe Flacco to step in under center. Despite their two victories, the Colts have not been particularly impressive overall. Their offense faces additional uncertainty with Anthony Richardson's status in question due to an oblique injury. Meanwhile, the Jaguars may be winless, but they have been competitive in most of their games, losing by five points or fewer in all but one contest. Given Jacksonville's recent struggles, it's likely that they will be the more desperate team on Sunday, and they have a strong track record against Indianapolis. In fact, the Jaguars have dominated the Colts in recent years, posting an impressive 14-2-2 record against the spread when facing them since 2015. Additionally, the Colts' offense heavily leans on running back Jonathan Taylor, with Indianapolis running the ball on about 50% of their plays. This could play right into the hands of the Jaguars' defense, which excels against the run, ranking 10th in the league in rush defense. Taylor did not practice on Thursday due to an ankle injury, and there's a strong possibility he may miss this game. Furthermore, Jacksonville's rushing attack has been one of the team's bright spots, averaging 125 yards on the ground per game. This is concerning for the Colts, who have struggled mightily against the run, ranking 31st in rush defense. With the Jaguars playing their second home game of the season, this matchup presents an excellent opportunity for them to secure their first win. Despite their struggles, Jacksonville has been close in several games, with three of their four losses losses decided by just one possession. While the Colts come to town, the Jaguars will enjoy the comfort of playing in their own stadium. Although neither team has been stellar so far this season, the Colts have also faced their own challenges and uncertainties. Whether it's Anthony Richardson or Joe Flacco starting for Indianapolis, it likely won't make much of a difference. Jacksonville's historical dominance over the Colts, with their 14-2-2 against the spread record since 2015, further suggests that the Jaguars could have the upper hand in this matchup. If the Colts decide to go with either Richardson or Flacco at quarterback, the Jaguars should still have the edge with Trevor Lawrence leading their offense. While Indianapolis ranks 21st in passing yards per game, they have been strong in the running game, boasting the league's ninth best rushing attack. However, much of that success can be attributed to Richardson's dual threat abilities and Jonathan Taylor's contributions, but with Taylor likely out due to his ankle injury, the Colts' rushing attack could suffer. The Jaguars, meanwhile, have been stout against the run, ranking 10th in rush defense, which could further limit the Colts' offensive effectiveness. Although it's tempting to think that the Jaguars, sitting at 0-4, shouldn't be favored against any team, the potential absence of Jonathan Taylor is a significant factor in this game. If Taylor is unable to play, it could be a huge blow to the Colts' offensive game plan. Last week, the Jaguars fought hard in their loss to the Texans, and at some point, it feels like enough is enough for this Jacksonville team. Just two years ago, they were the American Football Conference South champions, and now they seem poised to finally get into the win column. With this in mind, the Jacksonville Jaguars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Trevor Lawrence has been struggling in the pocket, rushing his throws and not allowing plays to fully develop before making decisions. 
This lack of patience has led to a high number of incomplete passes and turnovers. While the Colts' secondary isn't particularly strong, the Jaguars also don't have a dominant receiving core. Therefore, it's likely they will lean heavily on running back Travis Etienne Jr. to generate offense. So far this season, Jacksonville's offense has appeared sluggish and unable to find a consistent rhythm, which has been a major reason for their winless start. The major storyline for the Colts this week revolves around whether Anthony Richardson will be healthy enough to start. If not, veteran Joe Flacco is capable of making deep throws, but Richardson hasn't yet developed solid chemistry with his receivers, and his accuracy remains a concern. As a result, Indianapolis has relied heavily on Jonathan Taylor's running ability, but with Taylor likely sidelined, the Colts will need to adjust their game plan significantly. Jacksonville's inability to win games thus far has largely been due to their offensive struggles, but their defense has done its part to keep them competitive. The Jaguars' stout defense should be able to slow down the Colts' offense and force them into multiple three and outs. In what could be an ugly, grinded out game between two below average offenses, it's hard to envision either team consistently sustaining drives. The under has hit in three of the Jaguars' four games this season, and I expect that trend to continue in this low scoring affair. While neither team boasts an elite defense, which might typically suggest a high scoring game, the lackluster performance of both offenses points in the opposite direction. For this matchup, a low scoring contest seems more likely, making under the projected total our full game total. Total pick. Buffalo Bills vs. Houston Texans The Buffalo Bills, currently boasting a 3-1 record, have arguably been the most impressive team in the NFL through the first four weeks of the season. Quarterback Josh Allen is performing at an MVP caliber level once again, and there's a growing sense that this could finally be the year the team makes a significant playoff leap perhaps even pushing for a long-awaited Super Bowl appearance. Allen's leadership and the team's overall performance have raised expectations that they can break through where they've fallen short in previous years. This Sunday, the Bills will face another formidable challenge as they go up against the Houston Texans, who are also sitting at 3-1. Under the leadership of second-year quarterback C.J. Stroud, the Texans have quickly risen to prominence and now pose a serious threat. Stroud's development, paired with the team's improving defense, has turned Houston into one of the league's emerging powerhouses, making them a team to watch closely as the 2024 season unfolds. In Week 5, fans will be treated to an exciting showdown in Houston between two high-powered offenses. Adding to the intrigue is the fact that this game also marks a revenge game for wide receiver Stephon Diggs, giving it even more layers of drama. Before diving deeper into this matchup, it's important to examine the Texans' recent performance. Houston secured a 3-1 record following a narrow four-point victory over the Jaguars in Week 4. Their success has been largely driven by C.J. Stroud, who threw for 345 yards and two touchdowns in that game. His connection with wide receiver Nico Collins was particularly noteworthy as Collins hauled in 12 catches for 151 yards and a touchdown. Collins has solidified his position as the Texans' primary receiving threat in what is a very competitive wide receiver room. However, Houston's ground game has left much to be desired. Running back Joe Mixon has been sidelined for the past two games with an ankle injury, and his absence at practice again on Wednesday raises concerns about his availability. In Mixon's absence, the Texans have relied on Cam Akers and Dare Ogunboil, but neither has managed to replicate the production Mixon provided. Without a balanced offense, there's a growing fear that the Texans could become a one-to- dimensional team reliant solely on their passing attack. Meanwhile, the Bills came into last week's matchup against the Ravens with a perfect 3-0 record, only to suffer their first loss in an embarrassing 35-10 defeat on national television. The Ravens' dynamic duo of Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson dominated the Bills' defense, exposing significant weaknesses. It was a sobering reality check for Buffalo, which had cruised through the early part of the season relatively unchallenged. This upcoming game against Houston will serve as a litmus test for the Bills, revealing whether they can bounce back from adversity. However, Buffalo may have a significant advantage, as the Texans could once again be without Mixon, making it easier for the Bills' defense to recover from last week's poor showing against the run. Buffalo's biggest defensive vulnerability has been its run defense, as evidenced by last week's performance, but the drop-off from facing Derrick Henry to facing Cam Akers should provide some relief. 
The Texans appear ill-equipped to exploit Buffalo's weakness against the run, especially with their top two running backs dealing with injuries. Without a strong ground game, Houston's offense could struggle to sustain drives, something they can't afford against a team like Buffalo. The Bills, with their aggressive pass rush, are likely to apply constant pressure and stifle Houston's offensive rhythm. Buffalo is a team that prioritizes the run, and the Texans' defense has struggled to stop the rush, allowing an average of 4.7 yards per carry. This plays right into the hands of the Bills, as both Josh Allen and running back James Cook should find success on the ground. The ability to establish the run will open up the rest of Buffalo's playbook, enabling them to find a rhythm that was lacking in last week's loss. Unlike last week, the Bills are expected to get into a groove offensively. This matchup marks the first regular season meeting between the Bills and Texans in the eras of Josh Allen and C.J. Stroud. Houston enters this game with a 2-0 home record in 2024, making them a slight favorite, but the Bills' recent track record cannot be overlooked. Buffalo has been incredibly successful over their last 10 games, with an 8-2 record overall and a 4-1 record in their last five road games. Given the Texans' offensive struggles in recent weeks, it seems likely that they'll fall short in what promises to be a blockbuster contest. Many bettors may see the Bills as underdogs against a Texans team that nearly lost to the winless Jaguars and be tempted to side with Buffalo. However, there's reason to be cautious, as this road trip could serve as a reality check for the Bills. Buffalo's early 3-0 record was was built on a relatively soft schedule, and now they face a Texans team that has been tough to beat at home. Additionally, Houston's defense is no slouch and could be capable of slowing down Josh Allen's offense. That said, the Buffalo Bills to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The total for this game has already seen some movement, jumping up by a point after an early surge of money on the over. The line now sits at 47 and a half, and it's possible it could rise even further, particularly if Joe Mixon is able to play. If Mixon remains sidelined, however, the Texans could still be an ideal team for the over, given their reliance on C.J. Stroud's arm. Stroud has a plethora of targets to work with, including Nico Collins, Stefan Diggs, Tank Dell, and Dalton Schultz. Collins has emerged as Stroud's favorite target, but Diggs, playing in a revenge game, could see an expanded role in this matchup. Buffalo's offense has functioned well despite not having a clear-cut WR1. With a combination of Keon Coleman, Kyle Shakir, and Dalton Kincaid stepping up, most of Buffalo's production has come from their ground game, led by Josh Allen and James Cook, and this should continue against a Texans defense that ranks 8th worst in the league in rushing yards allowed per attempt. However, expect Allen to take a few deep shots to Coleman and Shakir to keep Houston's secondary honest. Overall, Buffalo should have all of its offensive weapons clicking on Sunday. The Bills' run game will exploit Houston's poorest defensive front, opening up opportunities for play-action passes. As one of the NFL's top-scoring teams, Buffalo is likely to have a productive day offensively. On the other side, Houston has too many playmakers to be completely shut down, especially at home. If C.J. Stroud is given enough time in the pocket, one of his talented receivers will break free. Additionally, Buffalo's shaky run defense should allow Houston to create enough run lanes to keep them honest. This game has the potential to turn into a shootout in Houston. Both offenses are poised to break through, and it wouldn't be surprising to see each team score 24 points or more. As a result, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Baltimore Ravens vs. Cincinnati Bengals The Baltimore Ravens, currently holding a 2-2 record, will head out on the road this Sunday to face the Cincinnati Bengals, who are 1-3 so far this season. The Ravens are coming off a dominant 35-10 victory at home against the Buffalo Bills, while the Bengals finally secured their first win of the season in Week 4 with a 34-24 triumph over the Carolina Panthers. Despite their 2-2 record through four weeks of play, many analysts and fans alike are beginning to speculate whether the Ravens might be the best team in the league. They certainly appeared to be in top form during their Monday night football performance, where they dismantled the previously undefeated Bills in a 35-10 blowout. Baltimore is currently ranked as the third favorite to win the Super Bowl, and their odds would likely be even stronger if not for a narrow week one loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. In that game, tight end Isaiah likely had a potential game-winning touchdown catch ruled out of bounds by mere inches. After a somewhat shaky start to the season, quarterback Lamar Jackson 
Jackson and the Ravens have found their stride. Jackson, who has accounted for seven total touchdowns and thrown only one interception, is the reigning NFL MVP and remains a strong contender to win the award again this season. On the other hand, this version of the Bengals seems to be struggling to keep pace with teams like the Ravens, led by Jackson and supported by star running back Derrick Henry. Although Cincinnati's talent suggests they should have a better record, their current standing at 1-3 is hard to overlook. The Bengals have developed a habit of losing games they have a chance to win, which is especially problematic when they are given only two and a half points to work with in betting spreads. Joe Burrow is performing well at quarterback, but with the absence of running back Joe Mixon, Cincinnati's rushing attack has been largely ineffective in 2024. Compounding this issue, the Ravens boast the best run defense in the NFL by a considerable margin, meaning the Bengals' offense is likely to be one-dimensional on Sunday, heavily reliant on their passing game. While the Bengals did pick up their first win of the season in Week 4, their defense remains a significant concern. Cincinnati's secondary has been consistently exploited by opposing quarterbacks, but their biggest defensive flaw lies in stopping the run. This weakness makes them particularly vulnerable against the Ravens, who have a strong running game. Derrick Henry is expected to have a productive outing, and Lamar Jackson's ability to scramble will likely add to Cincinnati's woes. Jackson has historically performed well against the Bengals, hosting a 96.8 passer rating while throwing for 1,834 yards, 14 touchdowns, and just four interceptions over 10 previous matchups. With several key defensive players for the Bengals nursing injuries, including four from their front seven, it seems highly unlikely that Cincinnati will be able to contain Baltimore's offense. The Ravens are expected to dominate on the ground, controlling the pace of the game and likely putting up a high score. This ball control strategy, combined with their rushing dominance, should lead to a comfortable Ravens victory. Baltimore's defense will benefit from Cincinnati's reliance on the passing game, as the Bengals will be forced to throw often, allowing the Ravens' pass rushers to apply pressure and create turnovers. Given the poor performance of Cincinnati's defense so far this season, the Baltimore Ravens to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Baltimore's balanced attack, with an emphasis on their ground game, should overpower the Bengals' defense and allow them to control the game's tempo. However, it's worth noting that Baltimore's biggest defensive weakness has been their pass coverage, and the Bengals, one of the most pass-heavy teams in the league, have enjoyed solid pass protection this season. Joe Burrow should have opportunities to make big plays through the air, and with Cincinnati's tendency to air it out, there will be chances to score. However, frequent passing also increases the likelihood of turnovers, which which could give the Ravens additional scoring opportunities. Cincinnati has consistently scored over 25 points in each of its last three games, and Baltimore's defense has allowed at least 25 points in three of its four games so far this season. On the flip side, Cincinnati's biggest defensive issue has been stopping the run, and Baltimore is the best rushing team in the NFL. The Ravens will likely have another strong performance on the ground, capitalizing on Cincinnati's porous run defense. The Bengals have allowed at least 24 points in their last three contest, and the Ravens should be able to exploit those defensive lapses once again. Both Baltimore and Cincinnati have potent offenses capable of scoring quickly, but the Bengals' defensive struggles and the Ravens' inconsistent defensive play suggest that this game could be a high-scoring affair. Last season, both matchups between these two teams hit the over on the point total. This season, both teams have hit the over in three of their four games, and it's likely that trend will continue. The last two meetings between these teams have surpassed 49 points, making over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.